Today is the 23rd of June, Alan Turing's birthday, and to celebrate, the UK has just released a new £50 note featuring Turing, joining the 5, 10 and 20 to finally complete the series. Pretty cool birthday present if you ask me. But who was Alan Turing? What are the places and objects featured on the note? And are there any cool secrets or easter eggs hidden in its design? If you enjoy this video, please consider subscribing. Now since the front is largely the same as the other notes, I'm going to start with the reverse. Alan Turing was a mathematician and computer scientist, best known for his code-breaking work during the Second World War. To tell this story, we need to head to Bletchley Park, the government facility where it all happened. Each day, the Germans would communicate their plans, strategies and top-secret messages via radio, encrypted using an immensely complicated cipher device called an Enigma machine. Although the British could intercept and read these plans, since they were in code, we had no idea what they meant. What's more, there were over 150 million 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 possibilities, and the code changed daily, making it quite literally impossible to be solved by the human mind alone. Turing realised this, and so designed and built an incredibly innovative machine called the Bomb Machine, capable of cracking this so-called unbreakable code. His work is widely credited with saving millions of lives and shortening the war by an estimated two years. Now this isn't actually the machine portrayed on the banknote, we'll get to that later, but the blueprints for the bomb machine can be seen around the edges, taken from these technical drawings on display at Bletchley Park. His signature on the note is taken from a visitor's book displayed at Bletchley, and certain design elements are said to be inspired by the architecture here. These include this overlapping circle clover design, seen frequently on Bletchley's buildings, and the shape of this transparent window in the bottom corner, based on the detailing of certain architecture. The last reference to Bletchley Park I could find is actually on the front of the note. This number 8 pattern right in the centre refers to Hut 8, the building in which Turing worked. I realise that might sound like a bit of a stretch, but it's true, and the design is absent in the same place on the 5, 10 and 20 pound notes. Anyway, after the war, Turing continued to make enormous contributions to computer science, and in 1949 designed the ACE Pilot, or Automated Computing Engine, the world's first general purpose computer. Although he never built his design, it was brought to life from his plans a few years later, and it's this machine that can be seen on the new £50 note. Today it's on display at the Science Museum in London, and as a side note, I got a really cool squished penny with Turing's face on it. In front of the machine can be seen a mathematical formula from a groundbreaking paper Turing wrote in 1936, and underneath a ticker tape displaying a message in binary. When translated, it reads 1912-06-23, Turing's birthday, and as I've already mentioned, today's date, albeit 109 years later. Finally, there's a famous quote from Turing about the future of computers, and at the top right can be seen a geometric sunflower in red foil bearing his initials. Besides maths and computer science, Turing also did pioneering morphogenetic work, the study of patterns in nature. In terms of broader design and security features, the note's reverse also contains the number 50 in microprint across much of its design, incredibly fine printing that counterfeiters often have trouble replicating. There's also Omron rings, commonly known as the Orion constellation. These small rings in this particular pattern are designed to be recognised by printers and photocopiers, in order to immediately stop printing a potential counterfeit. Before we explore the front of the note, it's important to talk about Turing's death and legacy. Alan Turing was a homosexual, and being gay was illegal at the time. When the authorities found out, Turing lost his job and they gave him a terrible ultimatum – prison or hormone therapy. He reluctantly chose the latter, and over the course of a year was chemically castrated. It was such a horrific ordeal that Turing tragically committed suicide, aged just 41. This remarkable genius, who'd personally saved millions of lives, shortened the Second World War, and laid the foundations for computers as we know them today, was treated so barbarically and driven to suicide simply for being gay. In 2013, the Queen granted Turing a posthumous pardon, and today there exists Turing's Law, which pardons all men who were cautioned or convicted of homosexuality. It's truly wonderful to see such a deserving person who was treated so terribly during his own lifetime now immortalised on our currency. He's the first LGBT plus figure to ever appear on a British banknote. The front of the note has a lot of similarities with the 5, 10 and 20. Obviously it's red and larger, although significantly smaller than its paper predecessor. The Queen can be seen on the right, and the Bank of England in the centre. Above is the number 8 pattern I explained earlier, plus the Roman numeral L for 50. Like the reverse, countless tiny 50s can be seen in microprint across the note. 
Towards the top left can be seen a 3D image of the coronation crown, and at the bottom a hologram, reading either 50 or pounds depending on how the note is tilted. In the window between the two, we can see two more spiral shapes made up of microprint 50s, inspired by Turing's morphogenetic work, as well as a microchip. Now the 5, 10 and 20 all featured relevant buildings in this window, namely Big Ben, Winchester Cathedral and Margate Lighthouse, so I find this something of an odd departure. Maybe they couldn't think of a relevant and suitably vertical building, but I think it's a real shame. Anyway, on the left can be seen the Queen again in a clear window, and further left still four sets of raised bumps, a tactile feature to help blind or partially sighted people distinguish between the denominations. Talking of tactile features, certain parts of the note including the words Bank of England at the top are printed slightly raised from the rest of the note. This is a quick and easy indication as to if the note's real or not, as it's hard for counterfeiters to replicate this. Similarly, this gold pattern on the bottom left and bottom right should perfectly align if you fold the note into a circle. Again, counterfeiters often struggle to align their printing and cutting, so if this does line up, the note is likely real. Finally, under ultraviolet light, a checkered 50 appears, in keeping with the rest of the notes. The only thing I was unsure about is this gold wavy edge pattern containing Britannia in the bottom left. On the £20 note, it's modelled after the shape of Trafalgar Square's fountains, so I suspect this shape has some kind of relevance too. If you know what it is or have any ideas, please let me know in the comments. And that's it, both for the note and for the series. Gone are the days of envying other countries' banknotes. The UK now truly has a beautiful, creative, highly secure and incredibly meaningful series of notes. Featuring Winston Churchill, Jane Austen, J.M.W. Turner and Alan Turing, they celebrate a great range of British heroes and values, and they really are some of the world's very coolest banknotes.